Every message on Fiverr is important. It gets easy to try and judge the messages you get as they come in and to try and say, well, this one's important, well, that one's not. I try and accept every message as equally important. That's why you can see I have no unread conversations on Fiverr. I have read every single message and I've responded to 75% of the messages I've received in the last 30 days. My average response time is an hour. So that gives you a good indication of the value of working and consistently responding to messages. Whether you're a buyer or a seller, communication is critical. And if you are just getting a new gig up or you're trying to take it to the next level, the messages are where the gold's at. Most every order I've just made, the more than 500 I've spent to get this course produced, all started through messages. Some of your best buyers will reach you through messages. And sometimes people can help you avoid something bad through a message. The worst mistakes I've made on Fiverr as a buyer have not been messaging people before buying their gig. So that means if you're a seller, responding and reading your messages in a timely manner is critical. And every single message is important, especially when you're getting started. You might think if you haven't done a lot on Fiverr that one message is not that important. And this is where most sellers, I would imagine, miss their opportunity to get started. You make a Fiverr account, then you don't check it for a while. You get a message, you ignore it, you get another message, you ignore it after you made a gig or two. You've missed those little seedling opportunities that often can grow into much bigger things. The biggest client I've had in my business has contributed about a third of the total income of my entire business. And that one client started off just like thousands of other leads did. I couldn't tell it all, even within a year, that that was going to end up being my number one client. And that client gave me the chance to teach on Udemy because that client gave me so much work. Now, you can find clients just like that on Fiverr right here in these messages. You know if there's people like me ordering, then there are some great clients. I'm not saying I'm a great client. I'm saying I'm ideal to work for in a lot of ways you might look for in terms of available budget, amount of gigs ordered, amount of work I need done. There's lots of other people like me running around on Fiverr and it's hard to tell until you've actually worked with them and ordered them and established a working relationship with them. So I found especially the first couple years of my business, I didn't take most new things individually seriously. I only got very selectively interested in things that I thought would be big. Like if a Someone said, I've got a $2 million budget. I'd be like, oh my God. And I'd put way too much energy responding to them. Meanwhile, I'd ignore or not put any energy into the simple little messages I got. And I got a very simple message back in response to my first message from my largest client. You can get amazing things to happen on Fiverr. that only happen if you look at every new opportunity as potentially the big opportunity and you see that you don't know which one's going to be the big opportunity often until you're already in the middle of it. I didn't realize Udemy was going to be a big opportunity for me until I was already in the middle of it. Fiverr, huge opportunity today, and I appreciate you listening to me talk about it.